In the dynamic realm of consulting, recent graduates entering prestigious firms like Bain, Boston Consulting Group, PCG, and McKinsey typically face a whirlwind of projects and intense workloads. However, amid economic uncertainty, a surprising trend has emerged. A recent report from the Wall Street Journal reveals that some junior consultants are being paid to wait for their next assignment, a departure from the industry's usual demanding pace. Drawing insights from over 30 consultants, this report highlights how consultants are now utilizing their free time for various activities, shedding light on the concept of being on the beach or on the bench. In this video, we delve into this intriguing development and its potential ramifications for the consulting industry. Freshly recruited consultants joining renowned firms such as Bain, Boston Consulting Group, PCG, and McKinsey straight out of business school often find themselves buried in work. They constantly shuttle between location, diligently refine presentations, and stay up late responding to emails. However, in the current climate, a recent report by the Wall Street Journal reveals that some junior consultants are receiving compensation to wait for their next project assignment. The report, based on insights from over 30 current, former, and aspiring consultants, suggests that due to uncertain economic conditions, there's a shortage of available projects. Consequently, these consultants are utilizing their free time to run errands, catch up on sleep, watch TV series, and even explore alternative job opportunities. This period of inactivity is commonly referred to as being on the beach or on the bench. While not a new concept in consulting, it appears to be occurring more frequently and for more extended durations due to the economic slowdown. One consultant interviewed by the journal mentioned that he had only worked on two client-facing projects since joining last autumn and was filling his time with activities like going for walks, grocery shopping, napping, and binge-watching shows like fakes on Amazon Prime. Another consultant, hired around the same time, shared that she was using her downtime to prepare meals, spend quality time with her family, and actively search for new job opportunities. Consultants recruited by these firms directly after business school typically receive substantial six-figure salaries. Notably, around half of the MBA graduates from institutions such as Yale, Dartmouth, and the University of Virginia who entered the consulting sector last year earned a median salary of $175,000. In the previous year, the big three consulting firms Bain, McKinsey, and BCG announced increases in their base salaries for U.S. graduates, raising them from $175,000 to a range of $190,000 to $192,000. However, despite the generous compensation, the idle time isn't always as enjoyable as it may seem. Some consultants are growing anxious about how this period of inactivity could affect their career progress. According to the journal, certain early career consultants express concerns that the slowdown might adversely impact their performance evaluations, potentially derailing their long-term aspirations. Landing a position at a prestigious consulting firm is highly competitive, and for many ambitious graduates, these roles serve as a stepping stone to other lucrative corporate positions or even as a gateway to launching their own businesses. As a response to the current situation, some consultants have been encouraged to postpone their start dates. Bain, for instance, has offered to compensate certain new hires with significant sums to work for nonprofit organizations, embark on a safari, or become yoga instructors while delaying their start dates with the forum. This impasse for new hires occurs in parallel with consulting firms having downsized their workforces considerably over the past year. In March, McKinsey reduced its workforce by approximately 3% as part of efforts to scale down an employee base that had grown substantially in recent years. 